What's up, y'all? So, I'm in the forest again today. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, things to do and to see. One thing that I would fear are snakes, but I got my boots and I'm good. You know. And uh, like I said before, snakes are afraid of us and we are afraid of them. Uh, this right here is really good for healing. You know, it's really good. Uh, a walk in here is very. Um, uh, I don't even know how to uh, put it. You ever work in the park in America? Um, you know the feeling, right? But here is that feeling is. It's, it's, uh, it's some old, I mean, the, the, the feeling is, um, it's in an envelope with, with, uh, with the spirit. So there's a spirit to, uh, walking in the jungle. Uh, uh, we all know how, how it feels to, uh, walk in the park, uh, in America, uh, the good ones, you know. Because uh, they are parked where, you know, kids are everywhere. Uh, you, know, you got kids playing basketball, football, and, you know, it's all noisy. And you can't really uh, listen to your, uh, listen to your steps. Or uh, listen to uh, the way you talk. And, or, or if you're talking with somebody, you can't. You got to be, you got to talk loud. But, I, like, out here... You know, uh, you don't need to talk loud. And like I said, there's a spirit uh, walking in the jungle in Africa. I mean, like this jungle right here, it's a pathway. You know, uh, I don't know why they have that there, but it's a pathway. And I don't know what this uh, this right here leads to. I'm not going to go too deep. Oh, I see. So they used to make, they used to make charcoal. Yep. They used to make charcoals out here. Oh, that's why there's a hole and a piece of lumber. It's so good. Uh, we should make charcoal. What well, is that? I stepped onto something. Ah, oh, it's a root. Um, so, as I was saying, people used to walk in there. There's a pathway in there too. But I'm not going that far. Right? I'm not going in there. To the road. So yeah, um, I will when people uh, I do start to come over this way to visit. I will uh, bring people in here in uh, the jungle to uh, take walks. And, uh, uh, there's a couple of trails uh, in here. And uh, we are going to walk. Uh, these jungles, these trees hold our ancestors. And our ancestors' spirit lives uh, in these trees. So each tree that you see uh, has a spirit that's in it. 
right. and that's why cutting down trees is never is never a good idea. If you are going to do it, do it for a good cause. Uh, cut down trees because you are going to grow food to feed people. Uh, just don't do it uh, uh, just to do it, uh, just for fun, uh, to make money. Amen. Uh, the spirit that lives in these trees would not like that, you know, and you might get hurt. Uh, in some case, if the locals, the people who own this village, call those spirits to attack you, chances are uh, you will get gap. So, it, the whole village is really angry about whatever uh, whatever you are doing uh, they will call on the spirit that lives in these trees to come and hunt you down and believe me uh, it will happen you know, uh, witchcraft uh, does exist you know but it's through spirits so gotta respect the trees uh, when you are in Africa. Uh, I don't even know what this is. It looks like flowers. Uh, all of this is wild. All of it is wild. Okay. Uh, I doubt that uh, if I was to plant this out of my house, I don't even know what this is. It could be, could be a remedy. It changes color. This right here is red. This is green, turning red. And I think it's the same plant, but it, it looks green on this side, but uh, red on that side over there. So I'm thinking uh, that uh, I'm thinking maybe it's dark green and turn red or oh, it start red and turn green. I really don't know. I don't know. But I think I think it's the same plant. I think it's the same plant, but I'm I'm wondering why some of the leaves are green and some are red. That maybe in a week or two I will come by over here and see what happened. And I'm I'm thinking that when I come back, uh, one color would have taken over the whole, uh, the whole entire uh, cluster of group. So, you know, I'm, I'm thirsty. Uh, yeah, it's got to be like a stream of water, but I am not too familiar uh, with this area, so I wouldn't know where to find it. But I'm, I'm really, like I'm thirsty. I just don't know where to uh, find water. So, uh, this is somebody, small little farm. And they got corns growing. And they got corns. Yeah, I won't eat their corn, you know, they work hard for it. I know uh, when I did mine, when I planted mine, I know how, you know, I know how much I worked, so I wouldn't touch their corn. Unfortunately, not everybody is like me. Uh, there's a lot of scavengers. They come in and they come in uh, in the jungle to do one thing, and it is. The, 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 and that is to steal people hard work. See all these corn. It is red. I'm gonna step in there and show 
трогать сегодня. So, yeah, these cones are big. These cones are, uh, they are good for eating. And I'm sure whoever planted these will come to harvest in a minute. So that's one thing that uh, we go through a lot over here. Uh, you would uh, come, work, plant, see how my man uh, did a lot of work, all this work, see, and he did a lot of work, took him a couple of days to plant all of this, you know, uh, and you saw how he's doing it, uh, we don't have machineries, you know, you gotta do it by, by hand, he, I mean, you saw, you saw what I was doing, you saw how much work, yeah, I put in because you know, we got we got to do it with hands. Unfortunately, if we don't have tools uh, to plant corn, so one individual would uh, go through all that trouble just to plant uh, the corn, and then scavengers they know what time it is. They will come and start stealing. And I hate why, like I really hate uh, the fact that some people actually, you know, uh, go to bed and not thinking tomorrow I'm going to go stealing, like I'm going to go uh, steal somebody hard work. <laughs> 